the helicopter is uh, online and ready to go. We have a couple of more guns this time. We have not only the dual gunners, but we also have uh, chain mounted chain guns. So, for the first thing, we are going to go to Dubai International Airport. We are not going to load troops here. We are going to load them on uh, Dubai International. And uh, <clears throat> that is going to be how it's going to be. So, check settings, check... Yeah, it's healthy. Entry team. Additional operators have just arrived. Welcome to the stream. Well, let's get this cab going. So, we are going to take off with our helicopter here. It's going to be a little, a little bit rough. To be honest, we could actually just show you how it's done. We could go towards the green smoke and uh, we could load a stinger key. Uh, we could find a good place for a stinger team close to the Dubai International Airport. So we are gonna be slowing it in here. And we are going to uh, get some troops onto this helicopter. Also, the landings. I'm not really keen on the landings here, but... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Well, that sorted itself out, so uh, we haven't really damaged anything important, so we're gonna go through the F-10 menu here, and uh, troop transport, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get an anti-air squad, so we've loaded the troops onto the helicopter, and we are good to go. Now, what will happen is that if we, ha if we land again, then we can deploy two soldiers with Stinger missiles. And this is actually a really nice thing when it comes to putting pressure on the enemy who are defending a spot. So, uh, Shooter departing, Almin Had for Dubai International Cargo 1 Stinger Missile Team. We're using a uh, third party software, SRS, that I finally got working. And um, using that, we will be reporting in our mission status. Now, the server is not very well populated right now, and that is actually going to be troublesome for us. Because uh, that means we do not have air cover. Last time I did this, we had like 9 or 10 Hornets and Tomcats in the air, so we, we had ample air cover. But not so much now. All we got now is basically our chain guns and the hope that whatever is flying is not going to care about us. That is a slim hope, by the way. Also, I need to double check the... Here we have the F-10 map. That we, Oh, we do have some fighter covering the air. Uh, also heading towards the al -Mahad. We also have two SAM sites close to Dubai International. And uh, once we have uh, deployed the um, Stinger team close to Dubai International, we are going to... Um, get some troops that we can land so they can take out the SAM sites because it's going to be too dangerous for a low-flying helicopter to do that alone. However, we are gonna make sure we are not defenseless so I'm giving the order to, for the door gunners to stand by and open the doors and grab their guns. Apparently that order was uh, not very popular so just keep the door open. Thank you. So basically, on uh, a PvE server like this, you can basically choose from the role. And the, part of the reason why I picked the role as a cab driver is because I want to uh, try something new. I mean, it's fun blasting SAM sites or airplanes and stuff like that. That's very fun. But uh, this is actually a completely different challenge. And one that is actually really, really fun fun as well, because you don't have speed, you don't have, you don't have anything, basically, so I'm gonna, just gonna arm my flares, so they are readily available if we will need them, 
And I'm also going to give all gunnery stations the order to uh, fire, or rather tell them that um, they may fire if they see anything. And that is actually another thing that's very interesting on the Huey. Because the door gunners, they will fire at what they see. And regarding the minigun, the gunner in the second seat is going to shoot at whatever he feels should be shot at. <coughs> so we don't really have much input in what is engaged. We are the pilot, we're flying. Of course we can switch the seat, but um, at this point in time I prefer to be the guy who does the flying. If we had rockets on board, then these rockets would be under our control, but uh, we don't have those rockets on board. Another thing that's very interesting with, uh, in regards to uh, helicopters is that uh, you basically struggle with them. There is, at no point, is there a helicopter you can just release and it will fly on its own. Well, there is the gazelle, but the gazelle isn't liked because of that feature. But uh, stuff like the Huey, or even worse, the Mi-8, are actually pretty fun to fly for that reason. I have the picture frame, and I tally green smoke. So we're going in towards the green smoke, and uh, we're going to have a short look on the map here to see where would be suitable location for a stinger site. Because I want to deploy the stinger site a bit further away from the airport. And uh, yes, I don't know if there are any questions asked. I'm just going to go into Twitch so I can actually see the chat. But in multiplayer, what I'm doing here can be done towards an uh, enemy airfield. So you basically you basically can fly your helicopter towards an enemy airfield and just drop off a stinger team at the end of the runway. As long as that multiplayer server supports the third party log logistics system, of course. But a surprisingly amount of them actually do. So placing a stinger close to a enemy airfield, that's actually a very popular trolling tactic and a very unpopular one with the pilots. So we got Rapier 120 being connected to the server, that's good. You can always use more people. We also got Rapier 11 kilowatt connecting to the server, good, because we are going to need that support and even out the rudder. Okay, so they are gonna be flying F-14s, that's good. That means we're gonna be having... Uh, looks like we are busting some of the rich homes here. Uh, hell, these look like private compounds for all I care. Avoid the electrical wire. a good position for us to uh, put down the Stinger team, because uh, currently this area is only covered by air defenses at Dubai International, meaning that if they veer away in this direction, the Stinger site has every possibility to uh, destroy them. So all we 
need to do now is land, and of course landing in the helicopter is not something I do well. But as long as the helicopter stays in one piece, we should be good on that. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I want to slow this thing down. Thank you. Okay, so we're down on the ground, and now we will be deploying the troops. So we use the same menu, CLD, troop transport, unload troops. So now we have a Stinger team deployed into combat. And that also means we can... Oops, fuck. Sorry, too much on the front there. So now that we have deployed the Stinger team, they will be uh, preparing to defend the local airspace from the enemy. So now we're going to head to Dubai International. Once there, we are going to grab ground troops that can take out the SAM sites close to Dubai International. Fairly certain that the SAM sites are going to be a problem for anything we have flying past them, so our ground troops will be deployed to take them out. Shooter 1 uh, Huey inbound Dubai International will load troops to engage SAM sites currently on the uh, coast of Dubai. always an advantage to let everyone else know what the hell you're doing, because then they can... Sometimes people log on and doesn't really know what mission they want to complete or what they want to do. So you can get air support or you can get fighter cover in that region, stuff like that. And sometimes you don't get it. It's a mixed bag. Even out the rudder. Bird strikes, we are really close over the Dubai skyline now. We are actually lower than most houses. One point of the logistics system is, of course, that you can only load uh, troops at the um, designated area, which in this case is the green smoke. JTAX and other similar units can deploy red smoke for enemy operations, rather to mark the enemy operations. I mean, Dubai is pretty nice to watch at this level, but we're actually closing in on Dubai National, we're going to be slowing down a bit. And we are going to load a standard troop of uh, soldiers that will be tasked with taking out the same sites. And it's going to be very interesting to see if uh, we are going to be allowed to get close, because as far as the in uh, intelligence I saw, we are looking at at least two different Sam sites. Both a little bit too fast there, but it's not. That was not a good landing, but I'll take it. Uh, we're going to be loading up troops, load uh, standard troops, and we've loaded troops. Shooter departing Dubai International with troops.
All right, Lieutenant, we are gonna throw you and your troops into the deep end. And the uh, difficult part is going to be for you to control your motion sickness while we are flying to the objective. So we're gonna try and stay low here, because uh, if we're very lucky, whatever radar is controlling these SAMs will not be able to uh, properly detect us if we're flying very low. So we are gonna be steering towards these houses as well. And we are going to be dropping we're going to be dropping our troops in the vicinity of the islands. Preferably on the island itself. Uh, we don't have anything that is ours close by, so gunners stand by. This is if these SAM sites are active, then what I'm doing right now is suicide. There's no other way around it. But th there's a lot of smoke at the SAM sites up ahead, so hopefully, hopefully... They, if we're very lucky, their, their radars have been, uh, no been knocked out. And if their radars have been knocked out, then what the uh, ground troops will do is simply to finish the job. If their radars has not been knocked out, what we are doing right now is flying straight into danger. In fact, ah, never mind. Go big or go home. I was thinking about maybe landing in that parking lot and maybe trying to get away, but uh, I decided that I will not do that. I will see this thing to the end and I will deploy the troops on the shore ahead. Either this works or we die, but it's going to be brave either way. Let's get down a bit. Watch the birds. Very, very faster birds that might be incoming enemy SAMs. Power, 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 power. Whoopsie daisy. That was cl too close for comfort. Uh, let's see if we can do this without throwing the troops into the sea. Uh, CLD, troop transport, unload. Now, nah, we threw some of the troops into the sea. <coughs> Alright, let's depart. Alright, Lieutenant, we're gonna give your troops a bit of fire support here. I mean, if what we've done is not suicidal enough, then uh, this will probably count. I got visual on SAM sites up ahead, but those are not our primary targets. Our targets will be the SAM sites on the other island. The reason for this is because the SAM sites on this island are the ones that our troops are going to be handling. And they are currently en route. What I should have done, I reali realize now, is actually deploy a mortar team. Because a mortar team will be uh, uniquely suited to uh, destroying the enemy at range. Now the troops will have to just go over there. So let's just clean out these dams and uh, see what we can do about it. Gunner ready. Gunners ready. Coming in hot. All we need now is the ride of the fucking Valkyries. Air 
fire. Good hits on the target. Keep it up. right in front of us. Coming around for another pass. Looks like some looks like the Iranians have dumped some of their SAMs into the lake here. Yeah. Let's go with the chain guns. Gunners, good to go. Gunner ready. You're up. Good hits, good hits. On fire. Target is on fire. We're coming around. Let's take out the next vehicle. My door gunners are the best. I think that is probably means most of whatever targets there are here are gunners. But we're gonna be checking if we can't aim at whatever that thing in the water. So there are SAM sites in the water, that has to be a bug. There's no way that's intentional. However, that also makes it very difficult indeed to actually destroy this, because I don't know if the bullets will transfer below the water. Let's check how our troops are doing. Our troops haven't haven't reached the tip of the peninsula yet, so we, we'll, we can keep on trying to hit the underwater sands here. But I do have to wonder how we're doing on ammunition, because I can't imagine we have very much of it left. But we do have at least f three confirmed ground kills, so that's something. Coming around. Can't even see what the hell there's. Yes, Sam Metropolitan has been destroyed. Shooter reports Sam Metropolitan has been destroyed. I say again, Sam Metropolitan has been destroyed. 
Let's go for the next one. We can finish the job. The nice thing about destroying this uh, installation now is if we do it, if uh, we're going to be looking for targets in the water, stuff that our infantry will probably miss. Uh, either way, if we destroy a position, then that position will not respawn the next round. So, uh, when the map reloads, the map will notice that this target area has been cleared and whatever's at that location will not be respawning. That is a very f nice thing for us. So, we are now going to see if we can't perch up the last of the SAM sites that are going to be... Don't try to steal the infantry's kill now. God damn it. I want to look for stuff in the water, but hey... Alright, let's go for the big show, the easy pickings. I can see a number of Sams here, and I think we want as m many of them as possible out of the action. However, if our guns are... they are moving, I see again, they, they got something moving over there. And I don't like it. Make sure that thing stops moving, please. Gotcha, man. Good shooting. Coming around for another pass. You got another target coming up here. I should have I should have brought rockets. This is a turkey shoot. Target has been destroyed. I say again, target has been destroyed. We're coming around, so uh, port gun will get uh, some of the fun as well. The more Sams we can destroy, the better for everyone involved. He's bound to be guilty or wouldn't be here. Port gun fire! Also, could you please hit the target? That's better. Target is ablaze. I say again, target is ablaze. Looks like we have a command vehicle left there, so uh, we're going to be handling that. I don't know if we shot it to pieces yet or what's going on here, but I think the poor infantry we sent off to uh, basically march. Uh, I think we just stole their work. I can see them up in the distance, and they're basically... Why the fuck is the helicopter stealing every single one of our kills? They gotta be pissed. I mean, h here they were promised an easy, easy peasy target. And now the helicopter cab driver that's supposed to drive them there basically just decided that... Nope! Um, the cab driver is gonna do all the work. Plowshare has been destroyed! I say again, plowshare has been destroyed! Should uh, have destroyed Sam Plowshare. Uh, that's two for two. We'll return to base after extracting the troops. So, we're gonna be picking up the troops at least. We do know for roughly where they will be going, but uh, my landings are not the best, so. Alright, so now we'll just wait for the inventory to come within sufficient range. And uh, hope. Let's see, they are they're supposed to take a break in here, so when they reach this location somewhere, we should be able to extract the infantry and give them a ride home. Because an, a trained infantry squad is far too valuable to waste on. To be honest, we could also be just setting, setting down at wherever the enemy is going to be, but or rather where our infantry is going to be. But I would prefer just to gr grab them right now, 
but I don't think we can do that. I think we're going to be... I think we're gonna have to wait until the infantry is at least as close to us as humanly possible. But then again, I still suspect we are gonna be have, having to be... Yep, we've extracted the troops. The troops are now on board. Shooter have extracted troops will return to the Dubai International at this time. So that's it for the SAM sites. Looks like our door gunners did a one hell of a job too. With two of the SAM sites destroyed, the traffic at Dubai International should be a lot safer in the future. on the green smoke. I like the fact that I'm going back. There we go. And troops will now return to base. Troops have been deployed back to base. And that will be all for this flight. We have managed to take out the Sams. And everything was well and good. So thank you for tuning in. And uh, let's do this some other time as well. This is fun.